Also YouTube uh, here for Zephyr War Games. We're here with Michael, and Michael is bringing us his updated six samurai deck profile with the new support from Spirit War Warriors. So Michael, take it away. All right, so I'm just gonna go straight into it. Uh, first up is the monsters. I'm running three copies of Kaigeki. Uh, pretty standard, helps you swarm the field. And two Kagamusha, pretty standard, the, um, the classic tuner. There. Next up I'm running three copies of Kizan. Of course it helps get you, get you those uh, gateway counters and <laughs> swarm the board. Next I'm running two of the new tuner, Fuma. It's a great target for Ascetism because you can get out your uh, Kigeki, then Fuma would get destroyed in the end phase. And you can summon things like Kizaru and get a search and helps you swarm the board. Also a great, great uh, level 1 tuner of summoning off Dojo, so quicker access to Shien, which is always good. Next to Kizaru. Uh, I like 2 as opposed to 3 because you don't really want to see this card unless you're summoning it from the deck of something like Dojo or um, uh, Fuma. So I like 2. I think 2-2-2 two, two, has been working pretty well for me. Uh, next up is the 1-ofs. I'm playing one hand of the 6 Samurai. Uh, I'm playing... I'm playing hand because um, I still like that has the built-in monster removal effect. I think that's still really relevant. And um, it's also another asceticism target. And at the end of the day, uh, being able to answer threats really helps, helps the deck compete. Uh, playing one Elder simply is an asceticism target. One Hatsume. Uh, I was trying two, but I feel like one's uh, just right. Um, of course, it's a great comeback card. Should, should your opponent get around Shien, it can easily revive it. And uh, like I mentioned, it's a, an asceticism target to use with and Six Samurai. And just a Nora, really great card. Uh, one Anishi. I've seen a lot of people cutting this, but I really love this card, the fact that it can bounce during either player's turn. Just more control, which is what the deck's all about. All about so really love that. And finally, of the Six Sams, one copy of Grand Monster. Um, to round up the monsters, I'm also playing two copies of Ash. And the one Mexi. Uh, for the spells, playing three copies of Smoke Signal and also one Rotor. One copy of Gateway. Hopefully, I won't be saying that for much longer. <laughs> three United. Uh, two Asceticism. Uh, for the reasons I mentioned earlier, great for swarming the board and uh, getting access to the monsters that you really need to get your plays going. And three dojo. I feel like three is necessary since we only have access to the one gateway for now. And uh, as I mentioned, since we now have access to a level one tuner, that's, t that's, a, that's technically a six samurai monster. It um, just makes uh, getting to your plays a lot faster and uh, all around a really great card. And the last spell I run is Soul Charge. Moving on to the traps. Playing three copies of Solemn Strike. Pretty standard. The one Solemn Warning. And then finally, the one Counter Trap, Magatama. And Double Edged Sword Technique. So that's the main deck, it's 40 cards. For the extra deck, playing one Raihan. Um, I feel like one's pretty much all you need. I never go into this that often, that often since you do need three uh, different Samurais with. Um, three different attributes, but uh, I, th I think one's, one's just fine. And then of course, headliner of the deck, two Shien. And a Cherry Beast. I still love the Cherry Beast in this deck. I think it's an um, absolutely incredible card. Um, and of course, since I'm playing Eldar, I still have access to it, so still keeping it in there. One copy of Coral Dragon, great for answering threats. Uh, I like this over Bryonek because um, you don't really want to be emptying your hand too much, and the fact that it's 2-4 does come up sometimes, and the fact that it replaces itself really helps in the long run as well. And the last thing I play is Black Rose, since I am technically playing Grandmaster. For the XYZs, playing one Invoker. Invoker is really good for when you, um, you have that rank 3 play with Kageki and maybe an Elder, and then you just go into this special Kizaru, and Kizaru can then get you a search, and you just go off from there. So, really nice card. Number 41, uh, Babushka, whatever it's called. Just <laughs> um, great for locking down your opponent um, if you don't have access to it, one of your synchro plays. And the last of the XYZs is Utopia and his cousin, Lightning. Moving on to the links, playing one Mrs. Radiant, since this deck is the majority of Earth. Uh, one Decode Talker, 
and one proxy. And then to round them up, two copies of firewall. Uh, the reason for the uh, firewalls is mainly because of gateway. If you manage to swarm the board, you can set up a good board um, of two firewalls and a couple of Xi'an. Uh, if you open gateway and united. So it's just a great play if you have access to it. Um, I'm not playing the new fire um, tuner. Just, um, I just, I just, honestly, I just couldn't find the room for it. I, I would play one copy if I could find the space. But, um, but yeah, that's the deck. So this is with all the new support you got from Spirit Warriors as well. Um, we do have a couple of test duels coming out of the weekend for you guys to kind of see how Six Samurai's got off against Magic Bullets. Um, it will be very, very nice to see this old type of art type uh, come back into the meta. Uh, it probably needs a bit more tweaking and obviously Gateway to come back at three. Uh, or maybe even two might do the job because we don't want it to be too busted because there was a reason Gateway got banned in the first place. Um, but regardless, this is Michael's deck profile. It will be adapting, it will be changing. Um, but this is a great start for all of you out there that want to kind of adapt it and update it to today's game. Uh, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. And until next time, guys, as always, happy darling. If you like that video, why not check out our other videos available? We've got more deck profiles, pack openings, and of course, duels. And don't forget to click on the most important button of all, that subscribe button, right in the bottom left-hand corner.